get ready for the dictation 10 seconds 5 seconds start mr vice chairman i am now speaking in this house as an independent member so i will be equally critical as well as appreciative of what the railways have done i am glad that the railway minister has been good enough to accept that the railways are in poor health and that there is little hope of the industry in this country getting on as it should be i agree with him in that respect he has also said that there is a huge deficit in the budget and that it is due to the higher wages and the high cost of oil i agree with him there also he is going to meet the deficit by raising the railway fares i think he is quite correct in doing so because the charge should be met by the railway users further the railway minister has said that there has been some improvement due to administrative stops i do not know how far it is correct it is said that in the last 3 months there have been increases in goods and passenger traffic if this is said to be an improvement i do not understand why the targets that they have laid down are so low there must be some reason for it but it has not been disclosed i think that they do not have the confidence of continuing this improvement or there may be some other reason so far as i am concerned i would like to make some suggestions to the railway minister to improve the health of the railways first of all it seems to me that we must give up all the railway lines which are not now remunerative i believe that a number of survey are being carried out to see whether new lines have to be added i think this kind of adding lines when the railways are in poor health is not correct secondly i think it is equally important that we should go slow in the matter of conversion of meter gauge into broad gauge thirdly as the railways are not in good shape we must give up all plans to introduce new passenger traffic in this matter i address both sides of the house i may point out that we should have special trains only to transport goods from one part of the country to the other at the end i would like to make two or three other suggestions one is that we should also scrap the old stock and get new stock so that accidents and delays in trains may be reduced then an attempt should be made to involve railway workers at all levels in the management and working of the railways so that we may avoid strikes lastly we have a research organization i do not know what work it is doing but i think that this organization may be used 
to find out a substitute for diesel oil as we have a lot of coal. Letter from Ashogan Trading Company, Mumbai to Messrs. Guru and Company, Pune. Dear Sirs, we are much obliged to you for your order of the 10th June for two dozen tins of white oats. We regret to have to inform you that due to increase in the import duty on these goods by 20%, we are obliged to raise the price from rupees 80 to price 100 per tin. So, we are sorry to say that we cannot supply your requirements at the price of rupees 80 per tin as desired. In this connection, we may inform you that many of our customers have accepted the revised price of rupees 100 per tin. We hope you will also do so as there is no possibility of your obtaining the goods at the old price. We think you will desire us to supply your requirements at the new price as we do not want to do this without your consent. We shall be glad to have your instructions in the matter. We hope that you will send your instructions at a very early date so that we may take further action in the matter. Yours faithfully.